Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Friday, May 19th, 2023. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with Ring of Honor, which streamed last night on Honor Club, featuring matches taped May 6th and May 7th at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. In the main event, Action Andretti and Darius Martin defeated the Kingdom when Andretti pinned Mike Bennett. Earlier in the night, Zack Sabre Jr. made the seventh successful defense of the NJPW World Television Championship, defeating A.R. Fox. After the match, ROH World TV Champion Samoa Joe appeared to challenge Sabre Jr. for a future battle of World TV Champions. In other results, Ray Phoenix beat Gringo Loco, The Gates of Agony defeated Dalton Castle and one of his boys, and Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel defeated Cole Carter and Zach Clayton. In AEW news, Ace Steel, who was fired by the company in the aftermath of last September's post-all-out locker room altercation, was rehired, quote, several months ago, end quote, according to an exclusive report by Nick Hausman. Hausman noted Steel has been working in creative remotely since coming back to the company, but was reportedly set to go back on the road in an agenting position once the new AEW Collision television show was announced. On Tuesday, one day before the Warner Brothers Discovery upfronts when Collision was announced, AEW reportedly made the decision to not bring Steel back on the road, with Hausman's report indicating that Punk learned about it shortly after, eventually being pulled from all promotional materials. This report also noted that despite this setback, quote, Punk's relationship with Tony Khan appears on sound footing, end quote, with lines of communication remaining open. In more All Elite Wrestling news, Brian Danielson is expected to be a part of the creative team for AEW's new upcoming weekly Saturday night television show, AEW Collision, according to a Fightful Select report. Danielson had previously been reported to be a part of the Wednesday night roster for AEW Dynamite, along with the rest of the Blackpool Combat Club, and it's unknown if that plan has changed. AEW has been reported to be planning to institute a roster split between Dynamite and Collision once Collision debuts next month. Danielson previously worked on the creative team towards the end of his tenure in WWE. He has not wrestled since his Iron Man match with AEW World Champion MJF at AEW Revolution two and a half months ago. In ratings news, AEW Dynamite last Wednesday night drew the second lowest total audience of the year, bringing in 814,000 viewers to TBS, according to Showbuzz Daily. That figure is down more than 7% from last week's 877,000. The rating in the key 18 to 49 year old demographic was 0.28, down 12.5% from last week's key demo rating of 0.32, and representing 365,000 viewers, according to Russell Nomics. The episode came in seventh place for the evening on cable TV in the key demo, up from ninth place last week. NXT on USA Network last Tuesday night brought in 564,000 viewers, down more than 6% from last week's 601,000, according to Showbuzz Daily. The key demographic rating for the episode was 0.14, representing 183,000 viewers, and down from last week's 0.17 key demo rating. In WWE news, the company will present a major live event in India next September, according to an announcement made yesterday by Nick Khan at the SVP Moffat Nathanson Technology Media and Telecom Conference in New York City. The report of the announcement was broken by Brandon Thurston of WrestleNomics. It has not been confirmed whether this event would be the international premium live event previously reported to have been scheduled for September 2nd, the day before AEW's all-out pay-per-view. WWE has not been to India since a December 9, 2017 house show in New Delhi. In Impact Wrestling news, Trinity, formerly known as Naomi in WWE, made her Impact in-ring debut on last night's Access TV broadcast, defeating Kylan King in a match recorded April 29th, at Cicero Stadium in Chicago. Great match up here tonight by Kylan. Kylan King trying to end it. Hold on. Oh, Ooh. and the knee. By now Trinity off the ropes. Going for a sunset flip. Hold on, wait a minute. Turns oh. it around. Submission. She calls this starstruck. Trinity shines. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Trinity. Trinity looks in Starstruck and wins her Impact debut. 
After the match, Jai Vidal accepted Trinity's open challenge on behalf of Giselle Shaw. Trinity and Shaw are scheduled to meet on May 26 at Under Siege. In other results, Moose, Eddie Edwards, and Frankie Kazarian beat Yuya Uemura, Jonathan Gresham, and Alex Shelley in the main event. Jason Hotch pinned Ace Austin, and Trey Miguel beat the Laredo Kid. And in news from outside the ring, the Cauliflower Alley Club will honor CM Punk with the Iron Mike Mazurki Award at this year's Cauliflower Alley Club reunion in Las Vegas, according to an official announcement yesterday from the CAC. The award will be presented at the CAC Banquet on August 30th at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Presented annually since 1992, the Iron Mike Mazurki Award, named for the founder and longtime president of the CAC, recognizes those who have made exceptional contributions to pro wrestling and have exhibited outstanding dedication to the sport both inside and outside the ring. Previous recipients include Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ivan Koloff, Stu Hart, Killer Kowalski, Bobby Heenan, Terry Funk, Harley Race, Bret Hart, Jesse Ventura, and Lou Thez. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.